Yo, yo, YouTube! This is my video for Wednesday, the 7th of August, which was a bit of an experiment for me. And I'll tell you my stats first of all. So, and oh, today is, um, for sake of, just for the sake of um, full accountability, no, that's what I mean. For full disclosure, um, today is Friday. The ninth. So, my stats are based on an average fuel rate of 14.33 pence per mile driven. I drove on Wednesday 1,014 miles. When I say Wednesday, really it was Wednesday and Thursday. It was it's spread over a 24 hour period. Um, I, my, my hours driving were in the region of um, uh, 18 hours, but it was over the course of 27 hours in total from me leaving the house to arriving back at home. For that job, that one CX job, I earned gross £375, and I spent on fuel £145.32, £145. That meant that I earned net of fuel £230.230. Right, so this was a job that came up on Wednesday morning. I was looking for work and my I have limitations now if you haven't seen my previous videos. I can only really work um, three days a week, Mondays, Wednesdays and Fridays. But I have got the option to sort of tramp out um, on Monday and Wednesday night as long as I'm home by 12 o'clock. Because then on the Tuesday and Thursday um, I need to leave the house at quarter past 12 to go to my dialysis appointment, which is in Boston. So there's a bit of flexibility, but it's basically quite restricted. So I haven't been to Scotland for a, a while because of, because of things changing. And I thought I'd give it a go and see what it was like. And I did the experiment where I thought I would just do a just do a job to and from Scotland, not even looking for any return jobs because I didn't have time to do that. And put a price on that I would do that for. And then at the end of this time, I, when I came back, think well, was it worth doing that for that amount of money? And I'll tell you that at the end. What I genuinely think about this. So my job that I bid on was for a small van job going 489 miles loaded from RAF Wittering to RAF Lozimouth and that's just to the um, east of Inverness along the coast there. And I have been there a couple of times before. So when I got there, when I got sort of towards there, the roads were a bit familiar. And my dead miles to RF Wittering were 22, about 40 minutes to get to RF Wittering. And my pickup was meant to be done between 9 and half past 9. So I arrived on site and was loaded up and off site at 9.35. And at that point in time, my Google Maps said the journey to Lossimouth was eight and a half hours. So that was, and that was ETA would be about quarter past six, roughly. Um, and that, maybe maybe ten past six in the evening. So I then drove um, up the A1M across the A66, up the M6, M74, um, across the. Um, I'm guessing at some point I picked up the M9 and then the A9. There's a, a road between the M74 and the M9, um, but yeah, so it's all it's all very um, it's a very easy route up there from where I live. And then once I got um, sort of about an hour out of Inverness, I come off the A9 across country, and I met a road that I I'd had before, which I remember from before. And this time I took note of its number, and I've got to say. I think this is my favourite road so far that I've ever driven up on. 
and it's the B9007. I'm going to repeat that, B9007. And it goes from the A, oh no, it goes from, um, not quite the A9, it goes from a road off the A9 up towards Car, there's a place called Carbridge. It kind of ends up more or less there, or near there anyway. No, I think it starts from Carbridge. Oh, don't, don't worry about it, it's, it's a lovely road anyway. Um, and, um, yeah, and it was, <coughs> it was um, the all weathers today, that day, it was sort of sunny, it was raining, it was overcast, and it was just a really nice, easy drive. I stopped about three times for a wee and some food, but just for like sort of five, ten minutes at a time. And by the time I'd got um, to Lossiemouth, it was about quarter to, or about twenty to seven. So I'd, I'd only sort of missed out on about half an hour of jet time. I, I made the decision I would I would drive up at seventy miles an hour because, in my view, um, for this job, time was more important than the money side of things. So I thought I'd get there quickly, as quickly as I could. Um, and that would be better because I had a restriction on the time I had. Um, and, but I think if I did it again, I might go up at 60 miles an hour. I might just take the take the more economical route, just take it easy, because I did spend quite a lot on fuel. So the other thing I misjudged, I kind of guesstimated that I'd spend 100 pounds on fuel. And I think the reason why I got that wrong was because I think from my house to in, uh, Edinburgh is 100 miles and back. So my house to Edinburgh and back is about 100 miles in fuel. So I think it's about, I'm going to guess, about 40, 50 miles from Edinburgh to Lossie Mouth and back. So now I know it cost me about £150 for fuel to do that journey. And when I got to the base, they, um, I had to wait outside while a guy came out to get the item from me, just a box, and uh, did my podding off, rang the ship up, let them know I'd done the job, and then I just headed straight back. Um, so, the journey back to my house, it was about nine and a quarter hours, it was saying from that point. And I arrived back home, I would say, uh, about 12 o'clock the following day, Thursday. So by the time I had a rest, had to sleep, and we've gone on again. And, um... The route back was the same route, so I, kind of, I came back via the M6, A66, MA, whatever. Um, and yeah, so it was, and I got home, and um, and then I was in time, for, got that quick time to have a quick shower, and then go back out again for my dialysis on Thursday yesterday. So that was an experiment. I was, was it was it is it worth doing that? And this is the context. I need to kind of make sure that when I am working on the Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. That I do make a reasonable amount of money. And by a reasonable amount of money, I mean between 200 and 250 pounds out of fuel. So, there's various ways of doing that. One big job like this, or a slightly, like one job from, say, where I live to the northwest, and then one job back would do it. Um, or just small local jobs, maybe to the East Midlands or Birmingham or sort of Leeds, Hull, and back again. Small small jobs would do, also do it. Uh, you know, East Midlands as well is a good place to go to. There's a variety of ways of making up money, uh, and sometimes I just want just to have the pleasure, really, of going to Scotland. So I, it reminded me of the, the the journey was really nice. I was in my van, basically just driving from one place to the other, non more or less non-stop, without any hassles apart from getting the, getting a fuel card place when I need a fuel. I put up a fuel twice. Once at, I think it's Culloden, outside of Glasgow, and another place on the way back, which would have been um, around about um, Carlisle, Penrith Way. And it was just a really nice journey, just really pleasant. So for my you know, mental health and my enjoyment, I'd definitely do, that, do it again. Now, was it worth the money? Was it worth the effort? That's the, that's the next question. Um, 230 pounds at the end of the day for a day's work, or, or, or literally a 24 hours work, really, being out of the house. 
So, was it worth it? Yes, just about, I would say. I wouldn't want any less than that for doing that sort of work. And ideally, I'd like to, to earn 250 after um, after uh, uh, expenses. But I would do that again for sort of 240, 250 pounds. To, to be honest, I'm doing it for 230. And the, the defining factor would be, how desperate am I? So if I'm really desperate for work, then 230 is fine. If I've got a bit more choice, 250 would be hard for that. So what that told me was, I, I like the job. If it's out, if it's available, I know the minimum that I would ever bid on that job. So the minimum I'd ever bid is what I bid that day, 375. But really I'm bidding more like 400 for that sort of job. <coughs> and if I get it at 400, I'll do it. If I don't, I'm not going to worry about it. Um, the only um, caveat is how far from home is the pickup. So I, as long as it's within sort of half an hour of me, then that, those figures sort of still work out. Yeah, so that's that. I, I know, I know, as I say this, that half of you will hate that job and never do it and, and think I'm an idiot for doing it. And half of you think it's a great thing to do. So, you know, we can't please everyone all the time. And that's not what I'm trying to do here. I'm just trying to tell you what my perspective is and what I like doing. And I just really enjoy that long, lonely trip up to Scotland and back. Um, the, the only downside is it's quite tiring. So you, I do get tired at the end of it, so the following day um, having dialysis is quite good because then I can rest. But that's kind of me utilising my dialysis to my benefit in that case. I can't change that dialysis. I'm forced to stay in a bed for four hours. Uh, three times a week. So while I'm forced to do that, with a bit of th with the issues I can deal with, let me let me make choices that make the most of the time available. So that's how I see it anyway. Um, and I, at this weekend, I really need to look at the money side of things and work out what is sustainable on three days work a week, bearing in mind the ups and downs of uh, working on the CX. And um, I'll. Uh, maybe let you know how that goes. Um, I'm not going to change this job, I just need to, if anything I have to change my, um, what I do you know, with some personal expenditure and stuff. I've got some things I can, I, I've got some ideas about what I can stop spending money on to, to make that less. But um, let me have a look at the weekend and then I will see how it goes. And obviously, um, if at any point in the future I'm off dialysis, then I go back to, if I'm, if I'm living off a, the amount of three days a week, then four days a week work is like gravy, isn't it then? So, as I said a while ago, this is a transitional year, and it's all about seeing how things go. Right, I'm going to leave it there. Thank you very much for listening to my video. I have got a job today, which I'll tell you about later on today. And, um, I hope that you are being successful, have you just to find that word for yourselves, and I shall see you later. Farewell friends!